Love you. Love you too. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. We're back once again with another video. I have a special guest over here. He and that's husband. Mm. We're talking about things you need to know before you plan your wedding. Yep. So let's get into it, boo. Number one. Seven things you need to know. All right, make sure you visit the venue and speak to the venue manager. Yep. So once you get there, make sure y'all all have a conversation, sit down, meet, and make sure you have an understanding. You ask a lot of questions and make sure you get more details yeah, you, because you don't want to be left out on anything. No, nope. Don't assume anything. Make sure everything, everything can be, like if you have any question, mm -hmm. the venue manager, the person that's in charge of everything yep. there, they should answer it. A red flag is if you have a question or two or three questions and they they look stuck. Yeah. That's when you know it's time to go. You did let the last thing you want is a nice looking venue, but management is not on it. They just do not have. They, they don't even know how chairs you're gonna get, how many tables. They don't know if they're gonna supply you with a DJ, a bartender. You need to know all of that. Everything needs to be set in stone before you sign anything and before you pay anything. I don't care how good the venue looks. If management ain't on top of their stuff, you gotta go. I agree. So what he's basically saying, we actually had um, the experience. We went to a couple of venues and it was a lot of red flags that we did not like. We was asking a lot of questions. Couldn't um, be answered. Couldn't be answered. Nope. A lot of things. Um, and then as we was there, it was a baby shower at one of the venues. And they was like, oh, this is not what, um, y'all didn't purchase that. And that's not, um, that we didn't know that came with it. Why is this happening? My friend having a baby, she went on her to be stressed the, out. And the everything. day of the baby should answer any questions that they should have been asked. They should have been asking and should have been answered before they even paid their money. Exactly. So you, you want to make sure you got everything set in stone. I don't care if it's the same question over and over again. Make sure it's on there. If you paying $2,000, $3,000, $10,000, whatever for a venue, you need to know everything that's included. Everything. Not just the building. Mm -hmm. You need to know what's included. Yeah. Everything. Yep. I agree. Number two. Please understand your groomsmen and your bridesmaids. What I mean by that is everybody has a personal life. Everybody goes through things. Uh, you might know your groomsmen or your bridesmaids for as long as you can remember, but if they got a lot, do you really trust that they're going to be there on your day without gripe paints and, you know, people going in and out of jail, yes. going through certain things in their life? The last thing you want to have to worry about is, is all seven or ten of your groomsmen all 15 of your bridesmaids, are they going to give you a headache? Yes. So in the number of bridesmaids that me and my husband is having, we decided to have at least seven or more than eight bridesmaids and groomsmen. Um, also, uh, when he was saying basically understand their situation or whatever, like we got a couple of people we had to delete out of our um, wedding and we don't want in because from the simple fact they always in and out of jail and not even just we deleted them we had a sit down we had a conversation about if we wanted them to be a part of our work. right you can invite them it's okay to invite yeah. them but as far as them actually have to having to be in a certain type of certain type of dress mm -hmm. dressed up uh they getting their hair the correct way you know the last thing you want is them to be going through something two days or a week or two weeks before y'all have to walk on that on y'all special day so make sure your groomsmen and your babies make sure personally they have it going on like as far as financially make sure they got it going on when it comes to mentally physically because you don't want everybody to be psychologically crazy. like i mean for you, quick excuses you don't want crazy you don't want craziness in mm -hmm. your wedding mm -hmm. so don't make craziness a part Why of your wedding, wedding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Number three. Important. Plan early. I think, I think that speaks for like, if you plan early, that gives you chance. That gives you more opportunity to plan for mistakes. Yes. So, 
when, with my husband saying that we kind of had to push our wedding back even though we're, we made these payments it was still stuff was coming up like coming up for as it is moving but you know just making sure the kids are great transferring schools mm -hmm. it's always a, bl a blockage so make sure you plan accordingly give yourself some time i say two years what you think i mean honestly like if you give us if if it's september right if it's september right now just in, as an example if your wedding is in october or november and you just now starting to tell people yeah my, my wedding is in two weeks or it's in two months like looking at you like you you probably got people that's in a whole nother state these people got to take off work you got to actually give yourself time to give people in your wedding and who you're inviting to the wedding time because they also have a personal life too Mm -hmm. Unless you're just getting married at, at the courthouse and you're just going to invite folks afterwards yeah. and for like a little reception, that's fine. But as far as a wedding slash reception, where it's, it's, it's all at one time and you, you, you got 70, 80, 90 people that you're expecting, don't expect too many to show up if your wedding is next month and you just telling people. I got cousins in Arizona. They need time to get off. And They're got married. Family in, in Miami. They got kids. Ain't nobody stopping their mm -hmm. life just to see you walk down the aisle once. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and also uh, planning early also helps. I mean, because you never know, you might need to save up a little bit more. Maybe you the, maybe you learn certain things um, during um, your planning phase. Certain groomsmen and certain bridesmaids that don't need to be there. Well, right. you know, if it's early in the planning process, you can take people out and add people. It's when, when things are kind of like, um, you know, time's kind of ticking and your wedding is next month or next week, you can't be taking folks out because you take people out. I mean, I mean, come on now. What are they going to wear? They got to all be, all your groomsmen and, and bridesmaids got to be the same. They got to be dressed in accordance. So make sure you plan early, plan ahead, be smart. Amen. All righty, next question. <laughs> Number four. All right, stop saying I. It's about both, okay? Um, that um, comes from brides. Groomsmen, we, I'm mean, groomsmen, like, you know, we, we don't care. We just like, y'all, it's our day. This is how I feel. It's our day, but it's about my queen. But... At the end of the day, there are things that I would like to be incorporated in the uh, wedding. Maybe some colors, maybe certain certain things I don't like that I would love not to be in there. So it's not always about I, I, I. It's about you guys, you, you too, you that are getting married. Y'all should have a conversation and y'all come up with a plan. True. But it's always the but. See? I still have to. I feel like they're gonna leave out on which you forever. Exactly. That's uh, that's why I say it's, it's about both. Yeah. It's not you take I out. There's no I. There's two. There's two people. So both both of you guys. Cause I y'all y'all need a plan. In life, I never do anything up without you. And that's then that goes with the wedding. If you have an idea, ladies. Or, or gentlemen, I mean, I don't know. I, I, in this world we live in, I mean, anybody can get married now, okay? If you have an idea, you should share it with your partner, and y'all have a conversation about it. Yeah. Me personally, I as long as it's nothing crazy or ratchet, I don't care what it is. Right. But she's still gonna come to me and let me know. I tell my husband everything. Hey, I got an idea. This yeah. What you like about this? Okay, that's cool. So she's not making it about her. Oh no! It's a so that's all I'm saying. Don't make it about just you. Make it about both. Amen. Number five. Understand your budget. Please do not exhaust all your money. You have tomorrow. Okay. The next day. The next day is coming. Okay. Y'all can have this big, beautiful wedding with, with with angels hanging from the ceiling look you know looking like something straight out of tyler perry movie but be broke the next day and can't pay nothing <laughs> and got all these problems but you had the, the, the perfect wedding 
Yeah. But you, to, please understand your budget. Okay, it's just a wedding. It ain't no need of spending thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on a wedding and then get divorced in two weeks. True. I can definitely agree. With me and my husband, we went over our budget. He was like, how much you want to pay? How much are we going to pay? Or whatever. We sat down, we had this conversation. I said, I think in between 8000 You spend 8000 to a regular person, they're like, dang, that's a lot of money. 8000 might be. it might be a lot. It might be nothing to some of y'all, yeah. but that's our, our budget. budget. Yeah. Don't let anybody else's budget dictate your budget. If you're... Four thousand, two thousand, eighteen hundred, eighteen thousand, a hundred eighty thousand. That's your budget. And I was like, babe, we probably have to add this because I wanted a cameraman. So between eight to ten thousand dollars is this what we are spending? Yeah, we're not spending no more than that. I feel mm -hmm. like it's couples out here that's like my husband just said. It's only people be out here for out here married for two two weeks, six months. But, and getting divorces. But they and, had the best wedding, though. But this, they had the best wedding this, for one day. This is my thing to a lot of you guys, y'all that are trying to figure out how much should I spend. Y'all want to go on a honeymoon? I, me, personally, I would rather spend and then have the best time with the person I'm about to be with for the rest right. of my life in my honeymoon. Yeah. I go all I go above and beyond so we on my honeymoon. planning on spending five, five, like maybe seven or five days um, what was planning on um, Mexico? Yeah. We wanted to go to Mexico. I mean, we we don't know. Or Dubai, like I saw just a couple of videos, but that's what we planned. But it's, we would rather to have a one day wedding, a cheap one day wedding, eight to ten thousand dollars. It's not cheap to most people that don't have it, or what? I mean, it's it's cheaper to. I mean, it's, it's not. It's our cheap. budget. We yeah, ain't worried. We ain't yeah. worried about nobody else's budget. Nope. That's all we saying. Yeah. Do not be worried. It's your budget. Have it's a your budget. Money. Have a budget. Don't be worried. Of, don't let nobody else. But I feel like for our honeymoon, we'll spend about probably about fifteen. That's our budget. Fifteen thousand. That's us though. But that's what we're going to do. That's us. Yeah. Not no one else. All together, basically, it's thirty thousand. If you saving up thirty thousand, knowing what you're doing with your, you know what you're going to do after your wedding, and our honeymoon is not even planned to next year, mm -hmm. right along with our big wedding, but it's still space and time. And this also goes with, I know we sitting here rambling, but a lot of this goes in, in a wedding, rambling. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have this going on between you and your partner. Mm -hmm. Your budget also your, uh, dictates how many people is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Don't expect to have 200 people in your wedding mm -hmm. when you know you got to feed 200 people. And then another thing that I do want to add too, um, when it comes down to... Like basically, like when people want you to go out to places and stuff, like it's just like no, I'm in, the, in the, I'm in between in the middle of trying to save my money. Like it's okay to say no. Like nobody' pockets isn't the same. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, you should always be saving anyway. But remember, you should always come up with a budget, something that's yeah. going to pretty much come. Y'all can actually say we can do this much with this money mm -hmm. and have our wedding, not no one else's ours. Okay? Yes, I agree. And, and remember. Okay, you invite 200 people, you invite them 200 stomachs. You know, black people come hungry and they leave hungry, they leave hungry too. They, they come they, hungry they, and they, they leave they kids food too. They, they come them hungry them. and they leave drunk. So, think about it budget, don't don't invite two, 200 people, drunk. better, better invite, invite 50. We only invite 100. <laughs> we sorry, but we not sorry. But, yeah. Number six, please listen. Don't invite everybody just because they're relatives or friends, so-called friends. We all listen. We all know. We know our family. You got your mama side. You got your father side. You got cousins, uncles, nieces, nephews, all type of folk. You got you got you got cousins that invite other people that you ain't never seen before. I mean. If you know it's somebody in your, your your family that's messy, that nobody likes, and even you know, the last time you invited them to something, they they caused a, a, an argument or they caused a fight. Like people I'm talking about. This, this is your day. This is your day. If you know, don't be that person that's trying to invite everybody. Don't, you know. I should, we shouldn't even have to tell you that. You know the people you should not invite. Don't invite them be, just because they're relatives. 
I agree. Because it's a lot of people that I didn't invite. Like, for example, my mom's sisters. Half of them, I didn't invite. I don't feel like they the need to be there. Because it's so long, so much mess. It's, 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 it's a lot. And I don't feel like I need that in my circle. And if you know you 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 only inviting a certain amount of people because of your budget, remember budget? Invite the most important people that's not messy. You know, yeah. invite, and like we just said them. in the other the other clip, I think that was number number four. We we only invited a hundred people. Your See, but it's within, fifty there and fifty here. Within your budget, okay. So if you have a certain amount of people you want to invite, only invite a certain amount of people. Mm -hmm. That's not messy. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna invite. And then if they I, get mad, that's on them. But you did it for you to have a good time. This is your way. day. This is your day. We'll get to that next step. She getting a little. She she going a little over. Get to that next step. All right. This is your wedding. Y'all the queen and the king, or the king and the king, or the queen and the queen. Is anybody can marry today? Speaking on everybody, everyone, yeah. everybody. We don't, we, listen, we don't discriminate. I, I don't care. If you get married. You said the king and the king. King, king, queen, queen. we're in Atlanta, y'all. King, queen. And. and everybody, every, I'm talking to everyone that's thinking about getting married. I don't care what your sexual preference is. Everybody has family that's messy. Do not invite them. Don't it's invite your budget. them. There's no need to. It help you save. It's your day. It help you. Gonna spend $15,000 on a um, vacation, not a vacation, what is it, honeymoon? Honeymoon. It's your day. So rock your day. You shouldn't be worried about JJ and, and TJ and, and Bone Quisha and all at your wedding. Okay. Don't invite them. And Shanae, BJ, all these people with, with nicknames, don't even, if they got a nickname, don't even invite them. That's right. Yeah, I know my husband. Please, he's playing. Number seven. The finally. The final one, right? Number seven. Please remember, put your foot down. Don't cater to nobody. This is your wedding. Put your foot down. If such and such wants you to invite somebody and you know they ain't right, don't invite them. It's your day. Don't cater to no one. The only people you should be catering to is your partner. You should cater to their interests and your interests. Y'all have a conversation and y'all talks amongst each other. Don't let nobody else come within y'all relationship. And this is relationship stand up. Uncle Clifford Rue 1238. Don't let nobody relationship until y'all what y'all should be doing. Ain't it right? Don't let nobody. Don't cater to nobody, especially on your day. Ain't it right? Don't cater to nobody. <laughs> what you catering the folks for? You're right. Put your foot down. You do what you want to do on your day. If you want to invite this person, invite them. I don't care if your mama or your daddy or your uncle or your auntie say, hey, listen, they was in your life. Yeah, it really means that my own mother told me she not even coming to my wedding. So, yeah, it hurts me so bad. I'm not going to go into nothing like that because it's very hurtful, but it's move on. Guess what made me happy? Your partner. The person that's right beside you every day. Every day. That's the person you should that's really care about. That's my best friend. Yeah, this one. That's the person that With you should care about. And everything. And we understand each other. Yep. That's my best friend. That's the person you should from the bottom of my heart, outside of my heart, around my heart, and around the corner. And up we making a promise to God for each other. Yeah. Not for nobody else in our family. So cater to I'm catering to her, her feelings. She's catering to my feelings, my wants and needs, and I'm doing the same my thing. My husband would tell y'all how many times I check on you a day. Mm. Can you count your fingers? No. Because I check on his mental health. He have personal things going on in his life. Yeah. I have my personal things going on in my life. We check on each other. Like, no matter how many times, you never know what's going on in a second. Mental health is serious, but we're not going to get deep into that. Yeah, that's another, another, that's another video for that. You got to excuse her. She goes all over the place. I'm trying to stick to the seven, and she okay. going to mental health counselor right here. But I love you. 
I love you too. But you see that that's a relationship. That's a, a marriage. When you when you're planning for a marriage, you have to think. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure y'all are on one accord. Mm -hmm. uh, have to make sure y'all talk to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't let nobody come in between y'all day. This is between you and your partner. If you get that, if you got those seven, can't nobody stop you from yeah. planning your own wedding. Amen to that. Right? Love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, you guys, that will be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If y'all have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. We're more than welcome. We check out our YouTube daily. Also, um, don't forget to um, click that subscribe button. Thumbs up. All right. Comment and subscribe. I want to thank you all for liking um, the videos and subscribing. I really appreciate that or whatever. That's, gonna, that's making me grow more. I really appreciate it a lot. Um, also, we are going to do another video of this, but we're going to talk about mental health. Also, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe again. And peace, love, and blessings. Mwah.